Enduro de Hovelenberg. Hovelenberg. Enduro de Enduro de Hovelenberg. What's up, my dude? So this is a track review of... You boys know what it is, so let's get in here. This is the first trail track I think I've ever rode on in this game. Um, I don't just think it is the first trail track, if it even is a trail track. I don't even really know what this thing is. I'm just going to get in here and see what it is, and <laughs> I don't know. I've never rode on it, so okay. That is pretty cool how on this game it kind of starts you like just where the bikes would be in real life. I think that's a cool little touch. Oh, I don't know if those are collidable. <laughs> they're not okay we're good we good dude uh i just want to make sure i'm going the right way oh check this out nice little rock action i'm sure it doesn't really matter which way you're going on a trail track but okay tricky little tricky dude the realism here wow like whoa i don't know if that's just the graphics or if it's what it is exactly but dude that is like on another level of realism, Phil. Okay, so this is actually part of the track. So you kind of come around. Hopefully I'm going the right way. It's going to be real hard to tell. Uh, I could have actually done a race on this, but... Okay, okay. So... Oh, dude, this is sick. I wonder if the trees are collidable. I bet they're not. JK, wow. That is sick. I was thinking this track was just going to lag completely out right away, but it didn't. And I have uh, like a a medium powerful PC, definitely nothing special. So, um, and I got all the settings on, I think they're on high. They're not on like the ultra, the ultra, but they're, they're like right there on that. They may be on medium, I don't know, but they're, they're not on the max settings, but it still looks really good. So, uh, crazy straightaway right here. So... Like, with MX Bikes Custom Tracks, I'm pretty sure that... Okay, wait a minute. So, that's the start. Okay. Okay. Let's get down in this ditch like a bitch. Okay. So, here's the start gate. Uh, okay. Um, so, I guess you're supposed to start the other way. So, that's interesting. So, let's get like this. Uh, that happens a lot in this game <laughs> where you can't really keep the bike straight. But, uh, uh, I'm having troubles, boys. I'm having troubles. All right, let's just get on the throttle. Oh, roughness, roughness. I kind of hit that a little crooked. My goodness, Spencer. Come on, dude. What are you doing? So I was going the wrong way. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So the you can see kind of far off of the track over there. Little basic, little just like kind of fades into nothing, but as far as right here on the track, what you're actually seeing, uh, I've never seen something that looked this good as far as trail tracks goes. Like, I don't know if it's just the graphics or what it is. I just pulled a tear off. I'm going pro, boys. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if it's the what it is, but it's like, it just feels so real. I don't know if it's the shadowing or if it's the, I, I just don't have any clue. So, it looks like we got us a little cornfield. That's pretty cool. On the outside of the track. So, a lot of this stuff, like object-wise, there's not a whole lot of objects, like, in MX Bikes. These people that make these custom tracks, they're basically making every single thing. Because MX Bikes is not that big of a game yet. So, um, I definitely recommend you going and supporting these dudes over there at, uh, whatever the... I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's like Pib... Pibs, I sound like an idiot. I'm not even going to try to do that. I'll put an annotation to the name of the company and everything. Um, okay, let's see if I can get back right here. All right. But, uh, yeah, definitely go check uh, MX Bikes out. You can just type it straight up into Google. And I'm not being paid or sponsored. I'm just, I want people to support cool motocross games out there. I mean, you never know, dude. Like, the, the realism this game's got going on. It's, it's kind of like the more so realism and feel of a newer game, but it has the simulator side of it as well. So it's cool how they're, they're kind of mixing both of those worlds together. I like it. My like it for sure. So, okay. Interesting little uphill oh, around the trees. 
I like that. Wonderful uh, decal uh, mixed with grass uh, work that he's done here. Um, it's definitely very, very different in spots. Looks super realistic. Um, I like how it's how everything is just looks very real. <laughs> I don't know if it's the types of decals or if it's everything is just at a very high high quality, just at the simplistic look of it. So, um, and the way he's done his rocks, that is awesome. I don't know if. I think that's just a decal on top of raised terrain, I'm pretty sure. That's not like actual objects. Whoa, tree. But that's cool how he does that because he can basically make any sort of rock formation he wants to. So it gives it a real, real feel every time you hit a different rock section. Oh, alrighty then. I don't know what's going on with this motorcycle right now, but <laughs> technical difficulties, boys. Technical difficulties. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, but yeah, something about it. I just, that is awesome. I'm definitely not going fast at all. I'm going at a snail's pace, but that's okay. But, um, yeah, you know, like sometimes when you have those actual rock objects that are collidable, it can get a little bit repetitive because you're just hitting the same exact rock over and over. You can kind of swap that up a little bit when you put the rocks a little closer to each other. But, um, I like how he's done this. I really do. And it actually looks real it, it, it's it almost looks like a rock object because he's placed his decal so good he the, the way he's managed to do it's not even a decal i don't even know how this works but wh however he does it um you can tell it's not an object but it's like it's so built so good that you almost can't tell so it's it's cool i like that um and uh the little elevation changes here and there up down the this is exactly what you would think of just mellow out in the woods trail would be like um, nothing crazy as far as your uphills or anything like that but I mean you could get that pretty quickly all you'd have to do is kind of change your terrain formations a little bit and, and you would have that it'd be cool to have some little water pond sections some logs on the ground um, but I love the progress that, that this dude's kind of made right here this is not even on MX Bike Central so this is actually on the MX Bikes forums. Little tip for you guys: you may not find every single custom track on the MX Bikes Central. You may have to actually go to the forums and then down there to the tracks. That's where I found this one, and um, I'm definitely not disappointed whatsoever. So Rocky boy, Rocky. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, at the level that MX Bikes is right now, I don't see how I couldn't give this a ten overall. I really don't. I mean, yeah, it would be better to have a couple logs here and there, or a couple little whatever sections, but not every trail track has that. So, at the same time, it doesn't really need that. Um, and everything just looks great, dude. Like, oh my goodness. I don't know. I just, I'm immersed right now. I'm lost. I'm at a loss of words. You can tell I'm just like, over my my mind's way over here somewhere else and i'm trying to make a video at the same time but that's what happens when you get on those tracks that really immerse you like that but i would say uh yeah 10 overall difficulty mm, uh, as i slip in the rut uh it's uh, i mean it's a little tricky i guess but it's it's nothing too wild i mean nothing hardly at all Nothing like like a hard trail track, if you know what I'm saying. It's it's definitely more on the simple side, uh, comparing it to other trail tracks out there. But I mean, there are some basic areas on the track, and overall, it is it is slightly basic. But when you compare it to other MX bike tracks, this is on another level. I mean, this is awesome right here. I love these little uh, little wooden plank sections. That's super realistic. Um, how woodland type trail tracks are. And hey, it's Woodland. You, you would think I'd be over here going, ah, oh, Woodland sucks, but he's done it so well that I, I never even thought, I never even pictured in my mind, oh, hey, this is just standard Woodland. It, everything looks so freaking amazing. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Oh my gosh. But no, it's, uh, yeah, definitely 10 overall. Shout out to him for making it to where it doesn't just lag all over the place. And um, difficulty is medium because you may have a little bit of trouble if you never hit rocks in this game. Um, it's just a little bit of a different experience, but medium difficulty, awesome track design. I didn't even look to see what your name was, whoever made this track, but I will put that in an annotation on the screen right now. Um, definitely want to be shouting out some of these track makers. I know I didn't really do that in my early YouTube track review days, 
um, just because I didn't, I, I was a beginner YouTuber. I didn't know. I just didn't know. I didn't know all these things I needed to do. So I apologize for doing that in the past. Um, you got to understand, I'm a basic dude. I, I don't even, like, I wasn't even that big of an internet guy before I got on here and started doing YouTube. I mean, I, I got on the internet, obviously, but I wasn't like a, a tech, a real tech dude and real involved in the, the different communities like this and stuff. I did, I, that was my first experience with anything like that. So, um, I totally understand uh, the point where you it would be better to shout out the actual track maker's name and stuff like that because it's getting them out there more. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. Later, dudes.